to return to their previous support of Mr. Trump, which was shaky. Uh, China, as I say, is being used as an all-purpose scapegoat. What is different this time is that the China hawks in the administration have managed through a relentless campaign of propaganda to demonize China across the whole country. So part of what uh, the closure of the Houston consulate represented, in my view, this is speculation, but I think it is not unfounded spe speculation. Part of it was to stimulate Mr. Biden, Mr. Trump's likely opponent in the election, to criticize the closure of the Houston consulate, enabling Mr. Trump to claim that he's soft on China. And uh, presumably, there is somewhere some set of documents that prove that somebody at the consulate did something improper. I mean, it is no secret that both countries spy on each other. So I think um, even that uh, issue uh, is related to the election campaign. Uh, what I think about this is that it is extremely irresponsible. Uh, and in that context, I'm encouraged that China made the choice of Chengdu uh, rather than something else. I think closing Chengdu appeases the security services. Uh, it tells the Chinese public that China is serious about retaliation, uh, but it doesn't do terribly great harm to the bilateral relationship. So in that respect, um, I find the Chinese response hopeful. China has not given in to public rage. It has kept a cool head. It has chosen to do something that can be reversed, uh, that is damaging and convincing as retaliation, but not too much. So this tells me that China still hopes to revive the relationship uh, if there is an opportunity to do so. And there may be, uh, but it will be difficult given all the damage that has been done. For various reasons, which China never clarified, it set up its first consulate there. Uh, so the end of this presence is going to be uh, very unwelcome to people in Texas who uh, have become accustomed to the consulate and value its presence. Uh, and um, I think we'll be very sorry to see it go.